January is National Mentoring Month, and last week Ryan had his father in studio, who is a mentor to members of Congress. And this week, Ryan is headed down the road to Urbana, where he talks with a local organization that has a unique approach to combating poverty. That's right. I visit Salt and Light and learn about how they are working to give folks a hand up instead of a hand out. What started as a food pantry in Champaign, Illinois, has expanded into a fully operational thrift and grocery store, as well as a community center. Salt and Light Ministry is on a mission to combat poverty. They give the community access to basic goods like food, clothing, and household items, and they offer jobs to folks in exchange for credits that they can spend in the store. Along the way, they developed a mentorship process aimed at breaking the poverty cycle. I spoke with their executive director, Nathan Montgomery. We know that we, we've always kind of served two distinctly different folks, right? People for whom meaningful employment outside of Salt and Light is probably not realistic. Uh, generally, that's seniors or folks with significant disabilities. But then we also know we have folks for whom meaningful, self-sustaining employment outside of Salt and Light is realistic, right? And so for, for those folks, we're looking at more of a, a shorter term uh, employment track. And with that, really, um, the credit earning piece is still kind of what brings folks in, but, but adding to that, requiring folks to walk through a financial education curriculum or soft skills job training curriculum, more intentional coaching while they're here, leading to ultimately part-time employment, either with us or a business partner in the community, with the end goal of full-time self-sustaining employment. And so, so it's really gonna be walking with those folks all the way through that and actually after as well. Because we know you step into a new full-time job, right? There's a lot of change that's happening, a lot of new things kind of being thrown at you. And so we wanna make sure that we're really providing that support, especially through that first year, to, to help them you know, get where they wanna go. It's, you guys are actually bringing in workers so that you can send them away somewhere else. <laughs> most, most places want to invest in a worker and keep them, but you right. guys actually have this goal to get them out into the community, get them into good jobs that they can continue working with the skills that they gained. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the mentorship side of that because I know that's gotta be somewhat significant when you're speaking into somebody's life at that level. Yeah, you know, I think that one of the things ideologically and theologically that we really kind of um, is permeates all of who we are is recognizing that our job is not the fixers, right? We're not, we're not the ones to go fix the people or their problems, and nor do they want to be seen as projects to be fixed, right? Instead, how we approach it relationally is just recognizing that, you know what, we're all broken. We all got stuff, right? And at the end of the day, what we want to do is create a space where we can walk through that stuff together. So it's not just me speaking into your life, it's you speaking into my life. I mean, a, a healthy relationship is reciprocal, mm. right? And, and I think that by creating that, you also remove kind of the power dynamics that are usually a part of our systems that we've called designed for addressing poverty. And, and those, don't do well with relationship. <laughs> Nathan says that they don't want to make the condition of poverty more bearable for those suffering in it. They want to help them overcome it. Salt and Light is open to the public daily with locations in Champaign and Urbana. You can help support the work they're doing by shopping, volunteering, or donating, and partner with them to combat poverty by providing folks with a hand up instead of a handout. Nathan was telling me how that when they were running as a food pantry in the early days, he saw how individuals in need would receive help, but continued to get back in line. And this would go on for years and years. It was a short-term fix to their immediate problems, but it really didn't set people up for long-term success. Their shift in focus to help people gain the skills necessary to get and keep a job is a life-changing approach with generational consequences. Yes, it's an incredible ministry and you can support them simply by shopping in their store or donating money or your gently used items. To find the nearest Salt and Light location or to get more information, we'll connect you at our website, ciliving.tv.